Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to my third Python 3 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to show you the basics on strings in Python. Now, a string, if you don't already know, is uh, a sequence of characters, which basically means it's a bunch of words. So, um, what you're going to do to show Python that you want to use a string is you are going to use quotes and there are three types of quotes in Python but one of them is really only used at a specific time so we won't go into that one uh, but the other two are double quotes and single quotes now a single quote you use the quotation the single quotation marks or apostrophes um, and so inside those you, you put two of them and inside that you put your string so we'll type hello world uh, and you hit enter and there you go there's, there's a string now the double quotes it's right above the single quote and it's used in exactly the same way yeah, well. and yeah you can see it's it's used in exactly the same way they're they're interchangeable um, so uh, one of the problems that you could counter is if you want to use a, uh, an apostrophe or a quotation marks inside of your string um, uh, the way that you can avoid that, there are actually two ways. One is if you just want to use one apostrophe, so you want to say it's all over, you can use it inside double quotation marks so then it won't think that you're ending the string because if you use single quotation marks, you can see here, it, it thinks that you ended the string at this, at, the, at your apostrophe, so it thinks your string is it and then you just threw in a bunch of stuff after that that doesn't make any sense to Python and it will give you an error. Now the second way to counteract this is by using something called an escape sequence. So let me show you what that is. Let's say you have single quotes as the outside of your strings and you want to say I said and then double quotes for what you said and then you said it's all over. Um, so to make it so that it, this is not the end of the string, you use an escape sequence, which is a backslash. There are a bunch of different escape sequences, which we'll go into later, um, but this one you can use to stop Python from ending the string at that quote. Um, if you hit enter, you can see that it, it won't get rid of that backslash um, because you're not actually you know, using it in a function or anything. And the way, now the way that you're going to output your strings every time you want to use a string in a function in a program is by using the print function. The print function, which is print and then two parentheses, um, this is used to output your, to print whatever you want to print. Um, you're going to be using this to output anything. So inside those two parentheses is where you put what you want to print. So we'll pr we'll put um, what's up here. We'll put. I said it's all over and then I will put the backslash the escape sequence right there now you can see it prints you can see right away um, that it gets rid of that backslash that was that we got up here it gets rid of that it's not there anymore and also it gets rid of these um, it gets rid of the quotes on the end um, because when you print something it wants it to be you know it wants to look nice you want it to look nice you don't want to have these quotes on the end because that just looks stupid. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you about in this tutorial is string concatenation. Um, concatenation is basically putting together uh, a bunch of sequences. That's that's what the definition is. String concatenation is Python is in Python is the same thing. It's putting together. It's concatenating strings it's putting together strings so I'll show you real quick what that is and how you can use it um, so let's take hello oops hello and then the string world and you can see it concatenates those two but maybe not in the way you'd expect it does not put a space here because it just takes the string hello and then sticks the string world just right next to it so to stop that, there are, well, kind of, there. this is one way you can stop that, is by putting a space after hello, 
and then putting the string world. And so it'll take the string hello with a space after it, and then put the string world right next to it. Um, you could also put the space before world, it doesn't matter. Now there is a another way that you can do this is by using the plus the addition sign and that's basically exactly the same as up here it just I guess it looks a little neater I don't um, I, I would normally use the plus sign instead of just having a space there um, another way that you can concatenate strings um, is by using the comma sign and when you use comma um, you don't have to put a space or you don't put a space in the string hello because it'll automatically add the space for you because it'll take the string hello then put a space then put the string world uh, another thing you would use the comma the comma for is okay let's take so in your print function let's put the string hello or and let's put uh, something else I am comma and let's put a number let's put a hundred uh, so you can use the string to to have to print you can use the comma sorry the comma to print strings and numbers um, because you can't concat concatenate uh, strings and integers you it it won't let you do that because they're not I don't know compatible but if you use the comma sign it's it's printing I am and that's printing 100 it's not trying to put them together like it's not trying to force them together it's just printing them separately but on the same line so there you go. Uh, that is the end of this tutorial in Python. Um, I showed you how to uh, show that you want strings. Uh, you can use single quotes or double quotes. And also how to put a quote inside your string using either putting a single quote inside a string that's called by double quotes or by using escape sequences um, using the backslash. I also showed you the print function and string concatenation. Alright, there you go. That's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.